So I'm gonna hold go to target. And now the car is backing up. You can see the path that it's gonna take and act, it's just cautious of these cars. All right, so there goes the left turn. And uh, I mean, it did it. It brought it to me here. All right. The guy in the truck behind me was probably like, what the f All right, guys, today is the day. Full self-driving version 12.5.4 is officially on this Tesla, and we have hardware three. So I'm at a Walmart. It's eight in the morning. There's, there's cars here, but there's not a whole lot of cars here. And uh, this is some slanted parking. I'm wondering if that'll be a problem, but I'm gonna go sit up front, and uh, we're gonna try to see if we can get our Tesla to drive to us and see if it does better than the original summon feature I used a long, long time ago. So in today's video, I'll show you how to actually use ass or actually smart summon and uh, this is on a hardware 3 car so if you have a newer Tesla it'll even be better so click like click subscribe indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch let's do this thing so that's a little look at the uh, release notes here so we're gonna do the come to me set where you want your Tesla to go then press and hold and send it on its merry way huh go to target interesting all right let's try this so I've got this up here this should there we go film inside all right and I'm gonna go up here my car is over here I don't know if it's gonna try to pull through or back out the slanted spaces may be a problem too we'll, we'll have to see I think I'm gonna go over here all right so you can see model 3 way over there and from here we come down here to summon and then let it find everything so you can see I'm within this circle see that big blue circle there you have to be within that for it to come to you so you'll also notice the little icon is a human so it knows that that's me see the cameras and stuff here press and hold to control and move the vehicle so we're gonna go to target and you can see the car is now backing up all right very good this other car got in my way but i'm still just holding this and so now it's going to drive. It's showing me here it's going to go down and turn around. There's literally nobody in that car right now. If somebody pulls up, they're going to freak out. <laughs> all right. So we're coming all the way. Look at that. Put on the blinker and everything. And I'm just now outside of the circle. All right. It's turning. Even though I'm outside of the circle, according to this, just barely. But it's doing the turn. And all right, it made that on its own. Very good. Now it should uh, get back. I'm going to get back in the circle now. And you can see it's still coming to me here. All right, so now it's coming down. Oh my God. I can't believe how well this is actually working. And I love how you can see the cameras. Like I can see the front camera there. Very nice. It's only going five miles per hour. So it, it definitely drives very, very slow. But at the end of the day, it still drove its way to me. Stopping due to poor connectivity. That's what it just said. And it's right there. Come on. Let me try again. Go to Target. No? You were so close. Stopped due to poor connectivity. Oh, man. It did so well. Come on. We got to get this to work completely. I don't know what the poor connectivity means, but... Let's try this again. <laughs> We're gonna try again because I think the poor connectivity was because it went out of that circle. So I've kind of put it in a way to where it should back up and just come this way. And I'm gonna go like stand over here and have it pick me up like I'm a taxi. Wish I'd have got the lady on film over there when the car had stopped and I went and got in it. She yelled, did that thing drive itself over there? It was hilarious, but it wasn't filming sad. We're back on the summon. We're well within. It sees my circle. So I'm just gonna nicely wait here. I can see the car there and uh, go to target. It's now starting to do its thing. All right, it's backing up. 
I like that it even shows me the reverse camera. And of course, if I let go of this button, it would instantly stop. So now it's coming around, put on its blinker, very nicely done. Now there is a truck coming, cannot use on public roads. So it thinks this is a public road. That's part of the problem. Okay, so that's the issue here. It thinks this is a public road. <laughs> oh my God. All right, let me try a different parking lot. All right, shouldn't be able to classify this as a public road at all. Chick-fil-A parking way in the back. Hopefully it's gonna back up and either go that way or actually it shouldn't go that way. So hopefully it does go that way. Let's, let's see if this works. All right, summon, let it load, and all right, go to target. So it sees me, it knows what it needs to do. It even has the correct path in, so I can see. Backing up. All right, it is right over there, coming on around. This other car is kind of in the way, or truck, but. No! <laughs> I'm worried about this happening. It went in the wrong lane. Watching this video, you're gonna think this thing does not work at all, but I swear, I've just somehow <laughs> picked two terrible locations. The Walmart thought the main front stretch of the Walmart was a public road, and then here there's a gap for like the drive through and it's right where I was standing, so the car went on the other side where the drive through was, so that's why I ended it. So I'm gonna go to Town Center Mall because there's a lot more room over in that area, and we're gonna try this again over there and see, see how it works. Let's go. Third time's the charm. So I'm at the mall. I've parked in between these other cars here. And we're gonna use this exactly as it's intended. So should have probably picked a location like this originally, but I thought Walmart would work. Didn't expect it to be considered a road. Didn't expect the drive-through issue. So, all right, let's come over here. You can see our car is there. And you know, picture you come outside and it's pouring down rain and well, you don't wanna get soaking wet cause you didn't bring your umbrella in, right? So back in our test lab, we go to summon, let it find us and I'm gonna bring this little target to there. That way it's basically on me. It's that little white thing. And then we'll do go to target. So I just heard it like turn on and is now backing up. Very nice. You can see the backing up window there on my phone. And the car is driving down. You can see the front there. I'm a little worried about this turn, but hopefully it won't scratch those nice tires. Nicely done. Little speed bump. Looks like it's all that. Nicely done. And it's still coming right down to me. Look at that. That is something else. All right. And my car drove all the way to me. Now I'm ready to just hop in and go. All right, see you guys later. One more test at this public. I just wanna really, I just wanna try one more time. Hold on. Now for this one, I'm gonna show this screen the entire time. So we're gonna do summon, let it find where we are. No thinks I'm at the mall. All right, so you see that little white dot that's over my blue dot? That is the target. So that's what the go to target button means. Of course, the forward and backwards will just do that, forward and backwards. So I'm gonna hold go to target and now, the car is backing up, and whoa, there's a EV Hummer here, and I love how you can see behind it, you can see the path that it's going to take, and actually, it might cut off again like the other ones, because this front stretch may be considered a road. I hope not, but we'll see. Yeah, it looks like it's going to stop before... All right, so it's got its blinker on. Let's see what it does for this people here. No problem. All right, it's waiting on them. Still just says release to stop, so it's gonna make the left turn. It's just cautious of these cars. All right, so there goes the left turn. And uh, I mean, it did it. It brought it to me here. All right. The guy in the truck behind me was probably like, what the f that was freaking amazing. Let me uh, stop this. Okay, so there you have it. That's, let me get out of this spot, hold on. <laughs> Bingo.
That is a look at how you use actually Smart Summon or ASS with the latest Tesla update. I can say I have way more confidence in this than before, mainly due to the fact that the screen shows me the back of the car, the front of the car. It shows me all that information. And as long as you don't run into what I ran into at that Walmart, where for some reason it thought the main stretch of Walmart was a main road, as you can see, this thing will work perfectly. It worked pretty good before, but this is just so much better, so much more precise it's it's really nice and if you didn't catch in my video there that little white circle or whatever is where the uh, target is so you just kind of move that to where you want and then do hold the target and it goes to that like exact spot so two massive thumbs up for the Tesla team absolutely love this feature this car as I mentioned has full self-driving 1254 other model 3 the blue one that I drive has enhanced autopilot so it has not gotten this uh, ass actually smart summon update yet and it's supposed to according to enhanced autopilot summon comes with the uh enhanced autopilot so that was very cool hope you like this video this one i think will go up first i'll probably have some more uh self-driving videos coming up maybe sunday maybe monday don't know what i'm doing with big package saturdays at this point but either way click like click subscribe indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch and we'll see you in the next one deuces